Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how you can use KubeDB to run a PostgreSQL database in Kubernetes. Uh, first, you will need a Kubernetes cluster. So in this demo, I am using a Minikube running on my desktop. Then you have to install the KubeDB CLI. You can go to our project on GitHub and download the pre-built CLI and install on your computer. So I have already installed this. Now once you have kubedb CLI installed, you need to run the kubedb init command. This deploys the kubedb operator and uh, creates a service for this. So this service is usually deployed in the cube system namespace. As you can see, the kubedb operator is currently running in minikube. Now, uh, we can also see that as the operator starts running, it has created a uh, registration for third party resources. Now, once the third party resources are registered, uh, you can create a kubedb database. So, here I'm going to you, uh, create this database in a demo namespace. So this deploy creates a demo namespace. And this also deploys a PG admin. Uh, we will use this PG admin to connect to the Postgres database once it is created. Now we need to create a Postgres TPR object. So this is what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, it is under the API group kubedb.com slash v1 alpha 1 and the object kind is postgres so here we specified that this is going to be a postgres sql 9.5 database and we are using the storage class standard this is the storage class that is available in minikube if you are using uh, a different uh, cloud provider like aws or google cloud you can use an appropriate storage class that is available in your cluster in this example we are also uh, going to initialize the database based on a uh, bash script. So this bash script will be pulled down from this git repo. So if we go to this git repo, you will see that there is a round.sh file and this file actually uses the psql command to execute the data.sql file that exists in this repository. And this sql file is going to create a data schema and then also create a table called dashboard in that schema. So now let's go and create this database. So we do cube db here dash f dot docs examples postgres demo on yaml so the kubedb cli is going to validate the yaml file and once it is validated it calls the kubernetes api server to create this object so if we do kubedb get pg for demo namespace we'll see that this database is getting created we can also use the describe command Now let's wait a few seconds.
Okay, it so looks like our Postgres database is now running. So if you go and run the describe command again, you'll see that the Postgres database P1 has been created in the demo namespace. It is in now running state and it shows the volume that is used that we defined. Um, it has also created a service called P1. Um, you can see the service IP. Uh, it has also created a secret uh, for this database. So this secret contains the password for the Postgres super user. Uh, since we did not provide any uh, secret in the spec, this is auto generated for you. And then you can also see the various uh, events that was created for this object. Now, we can find out the pod IP address. Now, uh, we are going to use the pgMyAdmin to connect to this database. First, we need to find the URL for the pgMyAdmin. So, since we are running in Minikube, let's find out the IP address for this Minikube cluster. And then we also need to find the node port for this pgMyAdmin ser pg service. So the port number here is 30332. So the default password here is set as admin, uh, username is admin and password is also admin. Now, go, let's go and connect to the database. So we give it the name P1. On the connection tab, we use the IP address for this P1 pod. Our username is Postgres. Now we need to find the password. This is the password we have. Okay, so now we are connected to the database. So if you go inside the Postgres database, you'll see that a data schema has been created. And this also has the table dashboard. 
and the, the schema for this table matches the schema that we had in our data.sql file. So thank you. So this is how you can create a PostgreSQL database using KubeDB. Thank you.